Hey, Git enthusiasts, it's Dwayne from Git Kraken. I'm here with a few release highlights from the recent Git 2.36 release. It happened on April 14th, 2022. You can go ahead and read the full release notes there at that link in the slide. Uh, but here are the things we thought were interesting out of it. Uh, so Git now has been taught to not recognize repositories owned by other users. Uh, especially in recent releases, there have been some concerns around uh, Git hooks and settings config uh, for non-owners uh, using the sharing Git repositories. Uh, of course, you can always override this new default by updating the safe directory variable. Uh, but by default, if you're not the owner, don't expect to be able to recognize that repo. Git log has a new option, remerge diff. It's been updated, and this shows the difference from a mechanical merge and uh, from what has been actually recorded in a merge commit. When you have a two parent merge happening, uh, this will create a temporary tree object, and it will show the difference between that, the temporary tree, and the merge that is happening. Uh, update to cat or git cat file. Uh, cat file is a very helpful little utility they have. Uh, they've added a few more options here, uh, batch command being one of the biggest things that they have updated. Uh, git log exclude first parent only, kind of does the opposite of what first parent option does. So instead of showing the uninteresting bit uh, along the first parent chain, it will now exclude that first parent chain, show the uninteresting bit. Um, improvise sparse checkout support. If you're a fan of only checking out just the files that you just need, well, Git's got your back now with Git update index, Git checkout index, and Git clean. Those are all going to work as expected now. Good news for folks that are trying to rename remotes that have a lot of references. Uh, well, they've added a progress bar now. So instead of just hitting enter and waiting and waiting and hoping it all happens and turns out right, now they're going to update you with a progress bar to show you well, where you are in the process. Git switch has a new error message uh, that suggests detach option. Uh, before, if you tried to run git switch like head tilt four, um, you would just get a fatal. Now it's going to say, hey, you try that again with detach. And they're trying to make the help messages a little more helpful. And finally, git fetch refetch uh, has been improved uh i love this one if you're not sure the integrity of your local installation of your of your local clone um go ahead and just do a fetch refresh uh refetch and pull everything back down it's not going to check in first to see what it thinks is true locally uh this is helpful if you don't want to completely reclone um but just need to make sure you're up to date and that's going to do it for today uh, go ahead and read the full release notes to get a little more insight. Uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff that came out with 2.36, uh, a lot of maintenance, a lot of UI improvements, but also a lot of API improvements and performance improvements. So go read the notes and make sure you're updating to the latest Git.